Uh, probably looking back. I mean, we'll watch the tape and, and we'll be able to see, but, you know, maybe some missed tackles and, um, you know, misfits or just you know, probably usually missed tackles. And, um, you know, we'll have to do a better job there, but, you know, I feel like we, you know, we're able to get, you know, some really great stops um, throughout the day. You know, don't want to give up those type of, Rushing yards, but uh, you know, I give it. You know, give those guys a lot of credit defensively for us. That you know, we did a good job on third down. You know, we got a huge stop there at the end of half. So we'll have to we'll have to fix and and, and assess the run game, but also um, you know recognize that uh, you know we did some some really good things defensively as well. Why, when Derek was having such a difficult time? Did you guys continue to feed him the ball when he's averaging under a yard? Well, I mean, we have to be able to establish a run, whether that's with Derek, whether that's Tajay, whether that's Jonathan Ward. And, you know, so, I mean, we've, we've won a lot of football games, um, you know, with that formula. And uh, we've seen where it's been, you know, some, some inefficient runs. And then, you know, we break one and, and turn things around. And, you know, that didn't happen today. And, how, much, uh, how much did that have an effect on the pass protection, too? Because it seemed like it left you in a lot of second and long, third and long type situations and gave up seven sacks. Yeah, there you go. You, you asked and answered a question, um, you know, pretty well. You know, so that's uh, certainly we have to uh, be balanced and, and be able to Use the run game to, to create opportunities and, and play pass, which you know we've done before, and we'll continue to strive to do, uh, and not just force ourselves into you know difficult uh, down and distances. The lack of success running on first down. Why continue to do that when it, it wasn't really working? For you? Yeah, again, just trying to, to to get off in a drive and. You know, there were times where we threw the ball on first down and had success. There were times where we threw it on first down and didn't have success. And, um, you know, it's all, um, you know, offensively, there, there wasn't a lot of, you know, you know we, need to, we need more positive uh, plays, more conversions, more uh, complimentary football. Do you, do you think that, that first down running, like, it was predictable? It, it seemed like it was today. I think that when they're, uh, you know, when we, we don't play well or we don't pr block or protect, I think that that's um, forces um, negative plays, you know, a non-efficient play. So, you know, whether they, um, you know, whether we call a run or a pass, we're still going to have to block and, and execute. How's Levison? What did you see on that last sack? Um, it's all the same thing you said. Uh, you know, so we'll see how he. Um, you know, comes out. I'm sure I have to get looked at and you know see where things go. Um, you know, again, when you talk about pass protection and you talk about sacks or pressure, it's you know starts with getting into the route quick and getting open quick and protecting longer. Um, you know, all those things have to happen. You know, and we have to do a better job of it. Could he have gone back in if you guys needed him to today? Um, I didn't really approach that. Um, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Talk about this inefficiency on offense. Were you able to get a read why the rushing game was so inefficient today? Um, no, I mean, I just think that, uh, you know, we know how critical it is to get, to get these runs started, you know, give them credit, you know, being able to, you know, split us on some of the combinations or, you know, not, not be able to get there on a second level. I think every time you, know, you just probably go back and look at it, it's going to be, you know, one guy here or, a, you know, a block there, um, you know, a cut. And it was just, uh, you know, not, not a very good day for us. The interception, did, did Will maybe not see? You get to have an opportunity to talk to Will, and he'll tell you exactly what he saw or didn't see. What did you see? Same thing you saw. That uh, you know, threw a ball to a guy that was that was covered.
Coach, with you guys being eliminated from the playoffs officially at, at this point, how do you go about the, the rest of the season, the message to the team? I don't think we're ready to discuss that, Kayla. I think we're just trying to get back, get healthy. You know, a, guy, a lot of guys play, um, you know, far less than 100%, which we know that that's going to happen this, this type of uh, – where we're at in the season. Uh, a lot of fight, um, a lot of the comp uh, competitiveness, um, rely on our leaders, you know, and, and make sure that, uh, you know, we do everything we can to give them an opportunity to, to feel confident coming into the game and, uh, you know, play with great effort. Understanding that, that guys getting hurt is part of it. Is there any sense of organizational guilt for, for what was assembled to be in front of your two quarterbacks that they've both gotten hurt? Uh, nobody likes to see any, any player get hurt. And, and the responsibility to protect the guy with the ball, whether that's the quarterback, the, the running back, uh, the receiver, you know, kickers. So we have to do a better job of protecting all of them. How about the level beyond that in terms of roster? So? We have to do everything that we can to continue to protect the, the guy with the football. What was the explanation, Trey Avery's pass interference? What was the explanation on that? I don't get an opportunity to talk to the back judge. Okay. None of, but none of the other officials came over to give you an explanation? They didn't make the call. How about the Kinsey hit out of bounds, which you were closer to? I think you'd rather call uh, wide receivers offsides, um, illegal formations, uh, false starts, than um, late hits out of bounds. Coming down with that contested pick. Who's that? McCreary. Do you think he had a good chance of coming down with that contested pass with uh, Schultz there? I would say he had as much chance as Schultz did. Looked like a, you know, better to play. Thank you. I'm all right. Um, you know, it could have been a lot worse. It was definitely scarier in the moment uh, than it was, but uh, we'll see what the trainers say. Um, but, you know, feel all right. Not tough, I guess, leaving here today with the loss, maybe. See really establish it consistently and what do you think maybe the problem was today? Yeah, I mean we just couldn't couldn't get it done. I feel like we never really got rolling. We had a couple drives where we had spurts here and there. Um, but the rest of the day it just felt like, you know, we got up to the ball and uh, we just didn't have that same confidence I felt like. So I don't know, we gotta keep doing a better job of everyone focusing on their job and, and focusing in on their keys, but you know, can't have a day offensively like that. How many of you guys like you more consistently run the football well? It seems like it's been a, a struggle for, for the unit all year long. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we just got to keep leaning on our guys, keep keep trusting and teaching, you know, what these coaches are preaching every day. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's a miscommunication thing. Sometimes guys are just getting beat. And, you know, guys just have to, you know, take a lot of pride in what they're doing and, and, and just play hard. But it, it, we're just trying to do a better job as a team overall. And obviously today we didn't do that. It seemed like you and D-Hawk like have been on the same page a lot. What, what maybe was off today? Yeah, I mean, just a couple times where we weren't on the same page, like you said. Um, we had that you know, streak down the middle. I didn't really know that was happening. Um, still got to put some more on it, and he's got to make that catch, and he knows that. Um, and that's a big play that could have changed the course of that game. But um, just a couple other times, you know, that stuff like that happens. We got to move through it. We got to learn from it. But uh, yeah, that was uh, weird. You know, that doesn't really happen between us. On the interception, Will, on replay, I'm sure it's easy to, to see, but did you, did you see Burks during the play um, going down? Yeah, I mean, I got, that's, one, that's on me. I mean, one of my key, keys that I was looking or, you know, reminding myself on that play was to make sure the corner carries, you know. So I saw his back turned, and then I was waiting for D hop. During that time, with my eyes on him, the corner falling off of Traylon is where it happened. So um, just didn't see him, didn't feel him. Got to learn from it. Next time, that ball's got to be launched, and uh, that's a touchdown. you feel like you could have gone back into the ball game if the opportunity presented itself? Uh, we knew that we weren't going to really be got there, so it wasn't even something we, we discussed. What's the pain level right now? Obviously, you're jogging around the sideline after you went to the tent. Feel like it's better than you initially thought. Yeah, for sure. I thought it was. I thought it was worse. Just how I got kind of rolled up on, and, and um, yeah. But uh, see how it feels tomorrow. You know, when all the adrenaline and everything wears off. But uh, like I said, it could have been a lot worse. But I think I'll be all right. 
for that first drive you guys went flying right down the field. How much of that was all scripted all week long? Was it simple? Were those types of plays you were running on that first drive? Still didn't necessarily go the way we talked about. It. I mean, we we have our openers and we talk about like visualizing like how we see it going. Like this will get five, and then we'll get the first, and then we'll get on the ball and do this. Um, you know, the how it went wasn't how we imagined it. We got the plays off that we knew we were going to get off. You know, in that opening series. So um, when you're able to, you know, work on your openers and, and execute like that and get points in that first drive, usually that leads to confidence the rest of the game. So we got to figure out how we can just continue that energy and that focus throughout the rest of the game, like we had on that first drive. As far as the pressure they were getting, was it something like where they were overloading, or, or like what? What was the issue? Why were there so many leaks? I mean, there wasn't anything that we didn't discuss. Nothing that we didn't see. Um, you know, we just had some guys just get beat on some games and a couple of miscommunications er miscommunication errors. But um, you know, for me, I got to make sure I can get the ball out sooner too. And um, a couple times too, where I tried to escape, where I just felt. Um, wasn't feeling the space, I feel like, as well as I usually do. And I got caught up and, like, on that last drive, sacked myself, essentially. So, you know, I got to do better in that, that, that area. Um, but they knew up front that they got to do a better job, too. Um, but we're going to work to, you know, get better this week and, and get back on track. Is there come a point where some of the stuff you guys are doing that isn't working is banging your head against the wall and it, it needs to be something different over, over yeah. the course of the game? Yeah, I mean, as a coaching staff, like, you definitely evaluate what we do well and what we do you know, not well. If it's something we're not doing well for um, reasons that can easily be fixed, obviously we want to fix them so that we can try to do it at a high level. Um, but, you know, you always want to have an idea of what your bread and butter is and what you're good at, um, but you want to mix it up too. So, you know, I thought that Tim had a good game plan and, and he called it well, and uh, we just got to do a better job executing out there on the field. How much input do you have, like, as you guys are sitting there looking at the tablet, you know, how much influence right do you have on some of the things that Tim Kelly calls or doesn't call I mean I'm not telling him like hey call this play but we have we have an open dialogue about how I feel about certain plays and and, and usually we're going into the game already having taken out all the plays that I don't feel any comfortable with so uh, we, we feel good about everything that's on that script on game day um, and and we're on the same page because of that and how we set up the week and, and set up the game plan so that when we get to Sunday it's not like oh, I don't I don't like that one actually we're gonna do whatever but um, no I mean I think we can do a better job, like we talked about a couple weeks ago, of just adjusting in-game, seeing what they're doing and how we can attack it better um, and what to expect. Um, but like I said, I mean, I thought Tim called a fine game, and we, it's, it's on us as players to, to execute the game plan. Yes, you guys were officially, yes, you guys were officially eliminated from postseason consideration. How does that change the motivation going forward and, and the, for the last three games? Yeah, no, it doesn't, doesn't change anything. No, I'd, I'd say props to them. I mean for Case to step up and, and do that and, you know, play a more efficient game than me and come in here and win. Uh, you no, know, it's a good team, and they, and they straight up beat us. Um, good, good luck to them going forward, but it's not going to change how we play. We're still going to just try to win every game and, and hopefully play spoil for these last few weeks. Do you feel good enough? Do you feel like you're confident to be able to play next week? I can't, I can't say anything about, about I can't say anything about that right now. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you know, when, you know, we feel like we had a chance to, you know, being close to slipping in, if we kept kept winning, if we won out, um, yeah, that's it's it's tough. Um, knowing that it's it's three left, and um, you know, um, you know, this definitely is a sour taste in your mouth. Um, but end of the day, we got three games left. Try to do the best that we can to go to go win those, and you know, finish the season on a positive note. Say it again. I mean, it's it's football. I mean, it's 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 fun. It's something that we've been playing since we were kids. I mean, if you don't get ready for the next game or not excited to to play, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, that's just what it is. I mean, you can't do nothing about it. Now we got the playoffs, but we still got three games left. Still got to go out there and play, um, and um, put your best foot forward. I mean, I'm like, I ain't I ain't laying down. I'm sure nobody else is is trying to lay down. But at the end of the day, um, that's just what it is right now. Consistency, you'll have a, a game where, where things are going well and then a couple where they don't. It, just how frustrating has it been in each week to, to, to kind of lack that consistency? Yeah, um, you know, and I put a lot of myself. Um, I feel like I could, I could be better um, and, and do a lot of things better. 
But at the end of the day, um, this is what it is. Um, I'm always going to continue to work. Always going to work to continue to improve. Never going to point the finger. Never going to blame anybody else. If anything, I'm going to criticize myself first by doing anybody else. And, um, you know, that's just what it is this year. Um, I seen a quote from a guy um, from the Detroit uh, Pistons when he said that, uh, you know, when you work hard for something, you might not get the reward right away. Um, but you just got to keep working and, and, and believe that it eventually happen. Um, and that's what I'm continuing to do. I'm going to continue to work hard and do the best that I can. Each and every day I step on the field, and when I'm away from it, just continue to work and knowing that, you know, eventually what I want, what I want to happen will happen. Derek, as you sit here, sit in there and take your time getting dressed before you come in here, you know, knowing two more home games, you don't know what the future is. Do you ever stop and just – I know you try to stay in the moment, but do you yeah. ever stop and just think like, man – it could be over. Yeah, definitely today. Um, you know, you had that feeling. You know, we you know, had hope of kind of slipping in there and then being eliminated. You know, there's three, ga three games left. Um, you know, I've been here my my whole career. Um, definitely wanted to go out strong, which that isn't the case. But um, I just try to give them all these last three games and um, leave it all on the field. You, you've never had a game since you've become a starter that you hmm. didn't get. Yeah. Over 10, 10 yards at yeah. least. You had nine today. With, yeah. with hearing that, I see you reacting. Yeah, it's it tough. You definitely tough, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely tough. Um, no, I don't really have no no words. Just wasn't good enough. And um, yeah, tough.